With Korea's next leader standing in the wings, outgoing President Lee myung bak gave his final address to the nation as leader on Tuesday. His speech touched upon his various successes and failures and gave the public a chance to reflect on his five years in office. Our e g u m presents us with the President's report card. Korea went global during President Lee Myung-bak's term in office. He spearheaded the drive to host a G20 Seoul summit in 2010 and the Seoul Nuclear Security Summit last year, positioning Korea as a world leader capable of helping to bridge the divide between the developed and developing world. President Lee came to office promising to revamp the economy, and experts say he did fairly well in this arena, especially in the midst of the global financial crisis. While other countries saw their credit ratings downgraded, Korea was the only G20 country to get an upgrade by Moody's and Fitch last year, with Fitch citing Korea's financial stability and strong macroeconomic policy framework. He also gets high marks for the web of free trade agreements that Korea has signed during his tenure, including with the U.S. and the European Union. Although there were concerns that the Korea-U.S. FTA would devastate some of Korea's least competitive industrial sectors, experts are now predicting that the agreement will boost bilateral trade, create jobs and give Korea greater access to the world's largest economy. Things didn't really play out well for President Lee, though, when it came to North Korea. And some experts have said that his administration's attitude toward the North was too hostile and inflexible, leaving no room for dialogue. In 2010, the South Korean warship Chunan was hit by a North Korean torpedo. Then just eight months later, Yeonpyeong Island was shelled by the North. Last year, North Korea launched a long-range rocket, and last week it conducted its third nuclear test, breaching several international agreements. President Lee also saw his relatives and close associates involved in a string of corruption cases that ultimately cast a shadow over his achievements. His elder brother Lee Sang-duk was arrested on bribery charges, and four senior presidential aides were all implicated in corruption scandals. President Lee apologized for the scandals, but his sincerity was debated when many of his former associates were among the 55 pardons he issued last month. Perhaps the biggest criticism of the outgoing president is that he failed to raise the standard of living for the average Korean during his term. The Lee administration fell short of bridging the gap between the rich and the poor, mirroring the growing economic polarization between major corporations and small and medium-sized businesses. Now it remains to be seen if the incoming president, Park Geun-hye, will be able to turn things around and avoid the criticisms aimed at President Lee. Lee Jun, Arirang News.